Brothers and sisters, you remain seated to the <clears throat> Gospel of John. We're going to read chapter 8, uh, verses 1 through 11. I'm going to tie it all up. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. Pray for my voice. Amen. We was rapping all that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Jesus went up to the Mount of Olives. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Went up to the Mount of Olives. Mm -hmm. And at dawn, it appeared, he appeared again in the temple courts. Well, all the people gathered around him. He sat down to teach them. My Lord, my Lord. The teachers of the law and of the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. Mm -hmm. They made her stand before the group. Mm -hmm. and, he, and said to Jesus, teacher, this woman was caught mm. in the act of adultery. My Lord, my Lord. In the law of Moses, and the law of Moses, excuse me, mm -hmm. commanded us to stone such a woman. Right. Kill her. Right, right, right. Now, what do you say? Mm. They were using this question as a trap mm. in order to have a basis for accusing him. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're using her right. to trap him. Hmm. Wow, wow. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, hmm. Let any of you who is without sin uh -huh. be the first uh -huh. to throw the stone at her. Hmm. Hmm. Again, he stooped down right. and wrote on the ground. Hmm. And those who heard began to go away one at a time. The older ones first, until only Jesus until only Jesus was left. With the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked the woman, Where are they? Has no one condemned you? Said no one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus declared, mm. go now. Yes. Mm. Leave your life uh -huh. of sin. Uh, Amen. That's yes, good. Lord. I want to call your attention. This is what got me. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're going to explain the gospel. Mm -hmm. To verse 8. Mm -hmm. And he stooped down. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's and good. he rolled on the ground. That's good. Yes. That's good. That's good. And he stooped down. Yes, himself. yes. And he started writing on the ground. On the ground. Wow. Last week I told you that the cross was a blood transfusion. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. This week the Lord has led me to let you know, to take you even further, mm -hmm. that the cross was God stooping down. Mm -hmm. He stooped down. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with me, brothers. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Jesus. And we love you, Master. Hallelujah, Lord. From the rising of today's sun to the going down of it, Lord. Your name is worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. I thank you for your word, Father God. Yes, Lord. For your word, Father God, is our source of healing. Yes, Lord. Our source of blessing. Yes. Our source of salvation. Yes. You declare earth and heaven will pass away, uh -huh. mm. but your word will remain forever. forever. Mm. I pray now, Lord, that you allow the Holy Ghost mm. to give me the power and the anointing to feed these people yes, of which you have stooped down for. Thank you, God. You died for. Mm -hmm. Do it for your glory's sake, yes, Master. Lord. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. Yeah. In Jesus' name we do pray. Jesus. And we say together. Amen. 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 Jesus stooped down. <laughs> my God. My God. This passage, brothers and sisters, starts off by telling us, I'm going to teach a little bit. Yes, sir. Because you need yes, to sir. learn. Yes, sir. This passage. Yes, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. We came here to celebrate. We came here yes, to sing and praise God. Yes, sir. But we also came here to learn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right about a God that yes, saved us. Amen? Yes, sir. This passage starts off by telling us 
That's what a man of God. This passage starts off by telling us Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. It starts off by telling us Jesus' position, where he's at, where he's located. He's located on the Mount of Olives. The reason they call this uh, uh, mountain the Mount of Olives because this mountain was known for having groves of olive trees growing on its cliffs. Right, right, right. Y'all listen right, to me. Right, right. This right. mountain was known for producing olive vineyards. Right, right. And olives, brothers and sisters, have oil. Yes, yes. Sir. yes sir. They crush the olives yes, to get to the olive oil. Yes, sir. The olive oil is, is a representation or symbolic for the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Are y'all listening to me? So it lets us know first Jesus has positioned himself where the anointing is. Oh, Good God. Yes, God. Oh, you're always going to get a blessing. I feel you. So, yes. What did you walk in here with? You? Uh -huh. You're always going to get a blessing when you position yourself where the anointing is. Don't position yourself, amen, where the junk is. Come on. Come on. Don't position yourself where the gossip. Don't on, position on, yourself in there standing in line yes, and sir. cheating. You're not going to get a blessing in that place. Not at all. So if you're going to get a blessing, you got to put yourself in a blessed place. That's, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. He places himself on the Mount of Olives. Yeah. The Mount of Olives is known also as a place of prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is where Jesus often went to pray. Mm. Matter of fact, at the bottom of the Mount of Olives is the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm. Uh -huh. You start in the garden to get to the mountain. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we understand that's what Jesus prayed yes. before he was crucified. Yes, uh -huh. The Mount of Olives also is the place where Jesus wept over Jerusalem. Mm. See, because the Mount of Olives is the highest point in Jerusalem overlooking the old city wow. of David that it built. Huh. My Lord, my Lord. And at one point, Jesus overlooked his city and he cried for it. Jesus. That's what brought him into trying to change it. Yes, sir. It's because first he cried for it. Yes, uh -huh. sir. You will never change something yes, that you don't, don't cry. cry for. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. The first start of changing something is your passion, it. is your tears, wow. is your weeping. Yes, it is your weeping that brings you into action. It. If it don't it. hurt bad, Come you're on. not going to do nothing bad. Oh. After you cry, you will get up and say, I got to do something oh. about it. Oh. Yes. Oh. He overlooked his city and he cried. Have you went out to Oakland and seen the, the condition our city is in, the condition our people is in, dare not drive down through our neighborhoods acting like everything's good. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Cry out. Cry out. My God. God. My God. For your children. Come on. For your people. Come There's on. a passage in Jeremiah that says, call on the women of Welling and let them come cry out. For death has entered into our door. Yes. Jesus looked out on Jerusalem Ooh, and he cried. My yeah. God. Because they were as a sheep. Oh. Yes. Lost shepherd. without a shepherd. Lord, Lost. Lord, Doing Lord, anything Lord, and everything. My God. Confused. Led yes. by their emotions in their world. Yes. No good leadership. Jesus. No I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. That out of this ministry, God will raise up good leadership. Yes. Yes. Our team needs leaders. Yes. They need strong leaders to lead them in the path of righteousness. Yes. Women, lead these young women. Yes. Yes. Lead these young men. Yes. Oh, yes. Good God. Yes. It's a high place. Yes. It's a high place. Yes. If you want to go up, you have to position yourself to go up. Come on. Good God. God told me this when he was giving me this. He says, I'm about to take somebody. Oh, Jesus. I receive it. I'm going to take you up. 
Not for everybody to look at you. Come on, Pastor. And brag about you. Come on. I'm going to yeah. take you up to help my people. Yeah. You can't take a person to a place you have never been. Come on. You can't take me up if you're not up. Are y'all listening to me? So before you can take me up, you first have to go up, and then you got to shoot that. Come on. Good God Almighty. It's a high point. Yes. Overlooking yes. the whole city. Yes. yes. Jerusalem. My God. Yes. 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 Let's us know yes. this mountain. I mean, Mount God lets us know this mountain separates the temple oh, from the desert. Yes. <laughs> the temple is on one side of the mountain. Yes, sir. The desert is on the other side of the mountain. Yes, sir. The mountain is a bridge yes, between the temple. And the desert. The God's going to tell you some of you are the bridge between the temple and the desert. Oh, God. That's why your people need you, amen, to be the bridge. If you don't stand up and be who you call to be, I'm going to be lost in the desert. I'm going to be dry and burning on fire. But I need some people to go out in the community and be like the Mount of Olives. Stand in the middle. Amen. To get the people from the desert to cross over into the temple. Oh, yes. My God. It sits in between yeah. both. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Good. Good. The Mount of Olives. Yes, sir. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was the mountain mm -hmm. that Jesus mm -hmm. ascended from. Whoa. Ah. When Jesus went up to the right hand of the Mount of God, yes. he was standing. Wow. Wow. He was standing. Wow. Oh, 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 hallelujah. That's good. That's Bible. And the Bible lets us know. Listen to me. Amen. In Zechariah, mm -hmm. bring it to me, Holy Ghost. There we go. 14. Mm -hmm. That this same mountain, yes, oh, sir. Jesus is coming back on. Ah. Yes, he says, Why are ye men stand gazing in the sky? Yes. For the same Jesus that ascended, uh -huh. one day will descend. Zechariah, Amen. 14 says, And the day of the Lord is coming. Uh -huh. Jerusalem, with your, when your possessions will be plundered and divided up within your very walls. Mm -hmm. And I will gather all nations uh -huh. to Jerusalem to fight against yes, sir. it. And the, the city will be captured, the houses will be wrecked, and the women will be raped, and half the city will go into exile, but the rest of the people will not be taken from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those nations. Right. And he is and he is fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, mm. east of Jerusalem. And the Mount of Olives will be split into two oh. from the east to the west, forming a great mm. valley. My God. Mm. With a half of the mountain moving north, mm. the other half of the mountain moving south. Mm. Some of the people in Jerusalem wanted to be buried in this mountain. Right. Mm. Because this mountain has a lot of burials. Mm -hmm. The reason they want to be buried on in this mountain, in the cave of this mountain, mm -hmm. is because they believe this is the place mm -hmm. that the dead will rise first. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Yeah. You know it says, when Christ returns, the dead will rise first. Yeah. Yeah. And those that will be uh, still here will be caught up in the freedom of an eye. Okay. So some people say, if I die, bury me in the mouth of Olives. Yeah. For he's soon to return. Yeah. Tell them why Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. And when he comes back, he's going to stand yes. back again. Yes. Yes, he's going to draw all of us. Yes. Yes. Of us. My God. Hallelujah. So it lets us know he left the Mount of Olives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he went to the temple. The temple was not far from the mountain. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And in the temple, brothers and sisters, Jesus started teaching the people. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons you're here is for me to teach you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. He started teaching the people about the kingdom mm -hmm. of God yes. and how God operates yes. and who God is. Because God is not your daddy. Come on. God is not your mama. Come on. God is not a pastor. Yeah. God is not a priest. One of the problems with our generation.
salvation is that when we ask people, do you believe in God? They tell you, I go to church. I go to right. church. Right. 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 Now, listen to me. Yeah. God is not a building. God is not wood, sheep, rock, and stubble, but God is Elohim. He is the creator of all living things. There is nothing that exists without God. You don't think you need him, but the reason you are even very taking that breath is because God is giving you air. And if God stops that air, you will fall dead. God! God. You got to learn about God. You're learning about everything else right? but the main thing. You're Googling everything else but the main thing. Right. Uh, are y'all listening to me? And don't waste your time learning about all this stuff. Learn about God. When you learn about God, God will make you prosper. God will make you hope. God will make you healthy. God will seek you first. The kingdom of God and His righteousness. You know God, God just draws people. Some of you I didn't know. God drew you to me. Not because I'm somebody, but because I know somebody. That's good, sir. Jesus is in the temple teaching people about God. Yes, sir. Parents, Ooh, don't just tell your kids to go to school. Right. Yeah. Teach, them. Teach them about God. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Thank you. And why he's teaching? Yes, sir. Why he's teaching the people? Mm-hmm. The Bible lets us know that the scribe and the Pharisees, the supposed to be teachers, mm-hmm. <laughs> dragged the woman. Mm. Oh my God! That was caught in adultery right, and right. threw her at his feet, mm. butt naked and everything. Mm. 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 Adultery. Mm. They caught a woman that was in adultery. Mm. You can't commit the sin of adultery without being married. That's good. So this lets us know that this woman has a husband. That's right. That's right. And she's cheating on him. Right. 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 <laughs> Stay with me, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This woman, marriage. What is marriage? Is marriage just saying I love you? You love me? No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's a lot of people that said they loved you and they left you. Right. right. Come on, say that. Yes. Commitment. Yes. A lot of people said they love me. I don't know where they at. Right. Some of the people I believed. Right. <laughs> I didn't grow old enough. I don't believe everybody in the city loved me. Right. You gotta give a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. You yes, said, "All right, sir. show me after a while." Yes, exactly. Right. How long you gonna be here? Yeah. <laughs> but what makes marriage marriage is marriage is when two people take on an oath. They go into contract with each other. They swear to each other that I will never leave you. To death do us part. You are the most important thing to me. Are y'all listening to me, brother? You are the apple of my eye. I will always put you first over any human being. They go into contract. What makes marriage powerful is that marriage is backed up with a piece of paper that you sign. Ain't nothing real till you sign for it. That's right. Ooh, I'm gonna say through a business man. Ain't nothing real until you sign for it. Don't care about how many people say they love you. I'm the man, I'm the woman, you my boo thing and all that. It ain't real till you sign. Come on, You don't own the car until you sign. That's right. You gotta get a piece of it if you're gonna own that car. You got to get the bill if you gonna own it. If they don't put their name on the paper, it ain't real. Yeah. They gonna leave in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Wait till it get hard. Cause life gets hard. Life gets hard. I don't care how good, how much money, who you is. Yeah. One day you gonna argue. Yeah. You gonna fuss. You gonna fight. You gonna have differences. Yeah. Amen. And if they are not committed, they gonna leave. Yeah. Paper makes you commit. That's it. That's why God put his word on paper to let you know I am committed to you. Watch it. Write it down. Write it down. Say it back to me. Come on. Paper. Book is on paper. So God don't 
going to do it. You can say, in the book of Joel, you said this. In the book of Isaiah, you said this. In the book of Colossians, you said this. When people write it down, you can throw it back at them and say, hold on. Look what we signed. Look what we said. Contract. Old Testament means old contract. New Testament means new contract. God is in a contract with you. Write it down. And sign it with his blood. Admit to God, 
I'm cocked. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I'm that strong. Yeah. Good. I'm ruling my life. That's good. That's good. I did things I knew I shouldn't have did. That's good. I went to places and did stuff I knew I shouldn't have yeah. did. They cocked me. Yeah. I'm not innocent. I'm guilty. Yeah. And when you and I can admit that we're guilty, you can receive the grace of God. But if you're only trying to make sure you think that you're not guilty, yeah. you got it all together, you're perfect, amen, right. you're better than him, you're right. better than her, amen, you will never receive the grace of God. Yeah. Because God knows you're lying. Come on. Come on. He sees your thoughts. Yeah. He sees what you do at midnight. Yeah. He knows what you did 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. So you can pretend to me, but you can't lie to him, amen. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I got caught. Yeah. But Lord, if you have mercy on me. Mercy, Jesus. Lord, if you just have a little mercy on me. Mercy. I swear, Lord, I won't do it again. Yeah. I recognize, Lord, I let the devil trick me, as Abel said. He tricked me and beguiled me. He put game on me. He lied to me. And I bit the apple, Master. Good God Almighty. But Lord, if you have mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Have mercy on me. Mercy, mercy. Jesus. I change. Thank you, Jesus. I give you my life. Thank you. Good God, my true story. Yeah. I told you God drew me out of jail. Yeah. yeah. But He didn't let me go. So mm -hmm. I admitted to myself, mm -hmm. I deserve these twenty-five years mm -hmm. to try to get me. Mm -hmm. As long as I was saying I wasn't raised right, or it was they fault, or it was this fault, or this shouldn't be happening to me, the door stayed closed. Right. Wow. When I was in my room by myself, mm. I said, no, really, what I'm being charged for, I really did. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> so I was lying to myself. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Got real. <laughs> and I had to get real and say, no, yeah. I really deserve this. Yeah. Yeah. But Lord, if you have mercy, mercy. Oh, yeah. my grandmama told me you were a merciful God. Yes, yes. you are, Father. Hey, y'all, listen to me. Yeah. You will never get free yeah. till you first admit you don't deserve to be free. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. You will never come out of sickness and disease till you first admit. For my sins, I deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are y'all listening to me, brother and sister? Amen. When you take responsibility, amen, uh -huh. then the Lord will step in and say, yes, you do, but that's the reason I died for you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. She's caught. She's caught, D. What can she say? You caught me. This is not a rumor. Right. This is like he said, she said, we've right. seen you right. with our own eyes. Yeah. We are a witness. Mm. And they brought her to Jesus. Mm. Yeah. But they didn't bring her to Jesus trying to get truth. Mm -hmm. right. They brought her to Jesus mm -hmm. trying to get him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says they asked him these questions mm -hmm. to try him. They really didn't care about this woman. Not yeah. right, right. They were trying to get the king. Mm -hmm. right. First, I want to let you know we all are guilty with God of committing adultery. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's why God told Hosea the prophet, go marry a whore, go mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he said, This is my relationship with you. Yes. Ooh. I you keep prostituting oh. yourself. Oh. Keep giving to yourself. To things that I don't like. Mm -hmm. To things that are outside of our contract. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. yeah. But I love you. Mm -hmm. And every time you go out there and whore me, I come and get you. Lord, I'll be real, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Yeah. But every time I went out there and whore me, Master, yeah. you came and brought me yeah. back home. Yeah. Yeah. I thank you, Lord. Yeah. And you didn't leave me out there, yeah. Father yeah. God. In my adultery state, Lord, yes, every time, Lord, yes. you came and snatched me out. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Change my adulterous heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. See, God is trying to let us know through this woman, this is you. Yes. yes. It ain't hurt you. That's good. 
Yeah. It's me. That's it, Jesus. Yeah. Because I told you the first commandment is to have no other God beside me. Have no other man. But look at all the stuff you're chasing after. Yeah. Look at all the stuff you have made your God. Yeah. Wow. So good. Look at all the stuff you worship other than me. Uh -huh. Look at everybody that got your ear more than I got you. Got your attention more. And it ain't about you can make your job your God. Right. You can make your children your God. Right. You can make your money your God. Anything that you put before God, that is your God. And God is saying, if that's what you're worshiping, you're an adulterous woman. Yeah. You're an adulterous woman. Yeah. 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 Good. 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 Cheating on me. Cheating. Mm. So, they throw it at Jesus' feet. I'm almost done. Throw him at Jesus' feet. Her. Picture of us. <clears throat> and they say, okay, Jesus, do you understand? Thank you, Holy Ghost. That the reason the devil attacks you is to get to God? Well, mm -hmm. see, they're, they're attacking this woman to get to God. Oh, are y'all listening to me? Yeah. They're using her to trap him. Because they understand. See, the enemy knows how much God loves you. Right? The enemy knows how much God loves you. And in order to hurt God, he says, I'm going to hurt you. Right. If you are a real parent, uh, amen, amen, you will take pain on yourself. Amen. Right. Amen, you will deal with it. But it's hard to deal with pain on your children. Right. Y'all got it. I would rather die and hurt me. Right. Unless something happened to me, it yeah. happened to my son, it oh, happened to my daughter, yeah. amen. Because yeah. that's how much I love him. Yeah. And God, amen, would rather the enemy attack him, amen. Yeah. But the enemy knows I can't stop you. Yeah. You're too yeah. strong. You're yeah. omnipotent, amen. Yeah. Yeah. And so if I hurt you, I'm going to hurt them. Yeah. Uh, so he attacks you yeah. to get you to disobey your father. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, did you say exactly yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's really trying to hurt him. Yeah. And he understands when you ain't right with him, right. it's hurting him right. more than it's hurting it you. Uh, oh, Wait, say it. Uh, the back. devil understands yeah. that it hurts God more mm -hmm. when we are not, amen, in covenant with him, right. loving right. him, right. amen, even then it hurts us. Because God knows. See, when you're a parent, you know what's up that road. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, God already knows what's up that road. Yeah, you know, yeah. Something I try to keep my children away from right. because I already been up that road. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's an alligator in the bushes. Right. Right. If you keep walking up that road, yeah. you're going to get bit. So I'm trying to do everything I can to stop you, to right. stop you, to stop right. you. Right. Don't right. do it. Don't go. Don't, don't say it. Don't yeah. go. Don't do it. Yeah. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Why? Right. Because I know you're going to get hurt. And if it hurts you, it's going to keep hurt you. Me. Good God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Are y'all listening to me? Are y'all listening to me? Listening to me? I watched my grandmama have a stroke when they put her son on death row. Are y'all listening to me? My big mama had a stroke when she turned on Channel 2 News and seen her son on Channel 2 News for murder. Amen. He's still alive. Well, she died. Amen. Because it hurt her to see her son. Oh, my God. Good God Almighty. It hurts God to see us in the position. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. So they bring him to her feet. And they say, what you going to do about it? Because, now listen though, the law says, and God, Jesus is God. God gave the law. Yes, he did. This is your word. Uh -huh. You see it. Yes. If you catch somebody in adultery, man or woman, right. mm -hmm. they should be strong. Mm -hmm. right. You said it. Right. What you gonna do, Jesus? Right. <laughs> they're, they're putting him on. He's being tested mm -hmm. by the devil. Right. God doesn't test you. The enemy tests you. Yeah. Yeah. God tries to compare. God will never test you. Come on. Y'all, he will never put you in a position, amen, that's press you. Right. He allows the enemy to come ultimately to strengthen you. But God is not the author of your testing. Because God already knows what you can bear. Amen. 
That's good. Amen. So Amen. Amen. So you guys have to. No, no, no. Wait. Go back. That was good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God already knows what you're doing. That's good. You test things to figure out what can they hold. Right. Which they weight in. Yeah. They tested this foundation to see how much they can hold. Yeah. Right. Right. Now, listen, God already knows how much you can hold. He already knows. He says, I don't give you too much. You can do yeah. That means you're already being tested. That's it. Come on, Jesus. Say, wait, brothers. Amen. Listen to me. Thank you. So they throw the woman mm -hmm. at his feet. Mm -hmm. They throw her at his feet. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do about this, Jesus? Mm -hmm. They're hating on Jesus. And they're using Jesus' daughter. Mm -hmm. Amen. To come against him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus is kind of catch 22. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if he says. No, he shouldn't do it. He's going to get his own word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if he say yes, kill her, he's having no mercy or grace. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So it says he just stoops down. Mm -hmm. And he starts writing mm -hmm. and putting his hand Jesus. in the ground. Touches the earth. The last time, you gotta understand, John. Let's us know that Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. He's not, John is not what we call the synoptic gospel, similar, because John is not just trying to prove that Jesus is the Messiah or the Christ, in which he is. John is trying to prove that Jesus is God. In the beginning was the yeah. Word, the Word was the God, and the Word was God. This passage is the only passage that you will find in the book of John, amen? Yeah. And the last time we seen God touching the ground. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And he was forming man. Writing again. Yes. Again. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
He broke the law. The Bible says, listen to me, the finger of God wrote the law in the stone. Yes. And he handed it over to Moses, the law. So the same law that they're condemning this woman of, he wrote. So Jesus slipped down. Right again. Mm hmm. New contract. <laughs> That's new. New contract. New wine. New wine. Yeah. New, new blood. New blood. New blood. Yeah. Yeah. New you. Yeah. Jesus died to give you a new you. Yeah. Yeah. Good God, tell her, brother, I'm about to get ready to change on you. I'm about to get ready to change on you. I'm about to get ready to change on you. I'm about to get ready to change on you. Tell my wife, you the children will never call their parents. Right. Mm -hmm. Because the parents are strong. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's the job of the parents uh -huh. to call the children. Yes, right. yes. With history, your children will never understand your history right. if you don't teach them. Yes, right. That's your wrong to stoop down. Yes, down. You can't ask for a weaker vessel. To come up to you. Wow. Come on. That's too much pressure. Right. That's too hard. Mm -hmm. I'm already fighting <laughs> just to be here. Right. Now you're asking more for me. Yet you have. It's easier for you to come down right. than it's easier for me to go up. It was easier for God right. to come down right. than it was for us to come up. Uh, Ooh, I couldn't get to heaven. I couldn't get right. I was trying to get right. I did everything I could to get right. And it wasn't not working in my own power, amen? Right. And so until he stuck oh, down right. and brought you up. Oh, so Jesus stepping down is letting us know I'm coming down on your level. Yes. yes. I'm going to meet you right where you is. Yes, he is. Thank God I don't have to change. I can sit caught in adultery. Yes. Amongst a circle of people accusing me, the devil is the accuser.